Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Friday night. And we know there has been a lot of news this week, particularly on coronavirus, and we're going to take you through it tonight, what you need to know as we finish out another week together. Just moments ago, Vice President Mike Pence saying the test results have now come in from the cruise ship off California. At least 21 testing positive, 19 are crew members, as the death toll and the number of cases in the U.S. grows tonight. With those new test results, the first to come in, we know there are thousands of Americans, cruise ship passengers on board that ship. So tonight, the obvious questions, what is the plan to treat those infected and to keep others safe? At a San Francisco hospital, images tonight, the tent now put up outside to handle cases. Here in New York City tonight, at least 4,000 people are now in self-quarantine. Many of them linked to that lawyer who took the train in from Westchester County to Grand Central. He is hospitalized in critical condition and now one of the first doctors to treat him, testing positive. There is also a developing scene in Boston tonight. Dozens of people taken from a hotel right to the hospital for screening after several conference participants tested positive. And take a look at this map tonight. It puts this uh, spread in perspective how quickly this is moving. It was one week ago, last Friday night here, we reported there were confirmed cases in nine states. Tonight, there are at least 267 cases now in 24 states, nearly half the country, six states added since just yesterday. We are going to carefully move through this tonight. Dr. Jen Ashton is here answering your questions, but we begin with ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, with news coming in on that cruise ship, those tests coming back positive, at least 21 on that ship. Tonight, nearly 24 hours after those choppers delivered those coronavirus test kits, the results revealing 21 aboard the Grand Princess cruise ship off the California coast have tested positive for coronavirus. 19 are crew members. It was news the passengers had feared all day. Right now, it's just numbing. It's just trying to process this information and see what our life holds in the next couple weeks. Debbie Loftus and her parents among the 2,400 passengers circling about 60 miles off the coast of San Francisco, now confined to their rooms. I, I was worried mainly because my parents are elderly. I'm traveling with them. They're from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and my mom has asthma. So yeah, I'm very worried if she would get ill, what might happen. Tonight, we're learning there are nine cases of the virus now linked to the ship's previous voyage, including that 71-year-old passenger who died after exhibiting symptoms before getting off the ship two weeks ago. This ship haunted by that recent nightmare for passengers of the Diamond Princess off Japan, where thousands were quarantined for weeks, but nearly one in five people on board wound up infected. Today, outside this San Francisco hospital, they were setting up tents to handle any overflow coronavirus patients. In Seattle, another crisis. Officials there are announcing that a team of 30 federal health professionals are on the way to help out at this nursing home where at least eight residents have died. We are grateful that the cavalry is arriving. We've had some challenges with life care and I'm starting to lose my patients. In just the last day, 15 patients have been rushed from the home to the hospital. And tonight, we are hearing for the first time from a resident inside. Susan Haley has a cough and is waiting for test results. Do I want to leave? Yes, absolutely yes. It's not that the people aren't nice. It's that I don't like being trapped. For days, families have been begging for information on their loved ones. Our Kaylee Hartung sat down with Pat Herrick after she learned her mother died. Then she got a second painful call. She said, I just want to check in with you and let you know that your mother's doing fine, that she doesn't have a temperature. I said, that's My mom died at 3.30 this morning. And she was, oh my God, you know, that wasn't in the chart. Just an awful story. Let's get to Matt Gutman. He joins us from California tonight, from San Francisco. And Matt, uh, back to the breaking news on the cruise ship. Those test results coming back positive, 21 of them, at least for now. And obviously the question is, how are you going to be able to get immediate help to the patients who tested positive while also uh, protecting those 2,400 passengers? I just got off the phone, David, with federal officials. They say they are working on those plans right 
now. Now, here's what we do know the 1,100 crew members aboard that ship. They're going to stay on that ship for testing and possible quarantine. The 2,400 passengers, they are going to be disembarked at some point in the near future at a non-commercial port. They'll be tested and then maybe quarantined at one or more military bases. They are very concerned right now. David. All right, Matt Cup been leading us off tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.